Hello everybody and welcome to a full deck of Tiny Little Games. Sometimes I review console free-to-play games because I can't afford free-to-play games because I eat bread for dinner and drink mead for dessert. Another! Today I'm reviewing Gwent, which stands for Game Witchers Enjoy in Northern Taverns. I think. Gwent is available on PS4, Xbox One, and PC. This reviews for the PS4 version. First up, Gameplay. A collector card battling, monster strategy thinking, various deck building, free to play console quality card game. Yes, the card game made famous by The Witcher 3 now has its own full fledged, much deserved release. If you have played Gwent during your 100 hour Witcher playthrough, then you know exactly what to expect. Those that haven't, you choose from various factions, monsters being my favorite, then you battle it out in a strategic form against others. Every card has unique abilities, and finding the best way to defeat an opponent is invigorating. Always read the card ability, as it can be a turning point in a hard fought battle. If you pass, then you give up your right to counter, so make sure your deck is stacked. The game is best of three, and pulling out a glorious win late in round three is both rewarding and fun. You unlock more cards, build your decks, play through single player challenges, and of course the meat of the game, play with real people in multiplayer. Yes, test your medieval wits against other tavern travelers. The game has a learning curve, but once you master its many mechanics, you'll be strategically card battling in no time. The game is relatively close to the original, as if Geralt entered into a Yu-Gi-Oh tournament and won by casting a spell of delusion. Next up, Graphics! As if Geralt took his best deck and splashed it with a rejuvenating potion. The graphics resemble the original look, yet they have some added flair. Cards have added animations, and close-ups reveal fine details. The overall layout has been tweaked, giving it a much more fluid look and feel. It keeps the tavern table background, making you feel like a drunken gambler. The artwork is still incredible, every card is distinct, and you will soon know what each card is capable of just by a glance. The menus are artsy colorful, and the overall presentation is well done, like watching the battle progress through the bottom of a beer mug. Finally, free playability. Don't throw your coin in the wishing well unless you wish for a rare monster. The game does have microtransactions, yet it does not thrive on them. You can spend real money on kegs that unlock more cards. Remind me not to drink out of this guy's keg. You can also earn kegs through playing or create cards with powders. Spend real money or earn it through more gameplay. Now by spending your coin, you can build a flawless deck. However, through strategic gameplay you can manage to win with a lower end deck. Altogether the game is playable without spending a dime, and rewardable if you do. It's like a classic battle between The Witcher and whatever this thing is. Now, I rate my games on a 3 point scale, that's download it, give it a try, and waste of space. With a plus or minus to account for a gray area. Gwent builds, battles, and passes its way in as a download it. Yay! I've enjoyed the time spent with Gwent. The gameplay is strategic spells, the graphics are a potion splash, and the free playability is a coin toss. As a fan of The Witcher 3 Gwent, I am enjoying the strategic card battling console quality entry. Building decks and defeating real players is rewarding, and figuring out the best card to throw out was just fun. Although you may run into some paid for high quality decks, the game manages to stay fun and thought provoking. So if you ever wanted to play cards in a drunken tavern without the hangover, then play this game. Or if you spent hours in The Witcher 3 figuring out how to beat low life scum, then download it. As always, thanks for watching Tiny Little Games. Please subscribe to support my channel, like for more reviews, and share so others can experience my content. Time for me to drink a beer and build my deck. I call it Drinking Deck.